let's talk about those hands, man, because it seemed like there were multiple games this season. It seemed like almost every single week, whether a pass was too high, too far in front of you, you stuck out that big right paw and you brought in that pass. Is that something you've worked on over the course of your football career, is just having great hands? Growing up, playing catch with my dad a whole bunch, it's just brought me to a whole nother level. Um, when I was really young, um, he really got upset with me catching with my body all the time. So he just took the ball and threw it as hard as he can right at my chest. I caught it, but it knocked the wind out of me. So I ran in the house crying. And from then on, I've just, you know, caught the ball with my hands a lot better. Who do you feel like in regards to either tight ends that have played in past times or even now, do you feel like your game really kind of compares with? I would say growing up, I really was a fan of watching Jimmy Graham. He was really just a go up and get it basketball type tight end. I loved watching him dunk the ball in the end zone. I've seen your parents at a lot of your Pitt State games coming all the way down from Minnesota. How have they really been just your biggest supporters throughout this whole process? Ever since I was a kid, they've always been there for me, whether that's bringing me to football camps across the country, my dad tossing the ball around to me. He's really made me into the football player I am today, and my mom's really made me into the man I really am today. From no offer coming out of high school, to JUCO, to walk on, to being a two-time AP All-American, looking back now, would you do it all over again? For sure, man. Um, it's just crazy, because I knew this is something like I could always do. It's just now coming into fruition, and being able to show everybody else, you know, this is who I am, I'm that type of player, and just doing it for this team and this organization is just, it's meant a lot to me because they believed in me when nobody else really did, and winning a whole bunch of games here has always been the goal, and I know this team will continue to do that, and I believe I left a good mark on the school. If you were able to hear your name drafted or to get that phone call saying you're invited to training camp, just what is that first reaction? What is that first feeling going to be like? It's, I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I, I think I'd be at a loss for words, really. I think I would just be stuck there <laughs> for like five minutes, just like, wow, you know. And I think what's really going to put me into like a complete shock is putting on a team's helmet for the first time. I don't know. I've always dreamed about, you know, as a little kid, having those team helmets, you know, you throwing them on and running around playing football. So it's... It's all going to be surreal, but you know, it's, I'm excited for it.